That's why he's been KO his last four times out. And boom, the left hook. David to his start. The left hook over the top is right there, and there goes that foot. There is how relaxed a person gets when he gets knocked out. Throughout his career. You know what I like about Montana? Oh, oh there it is. Oh, the, the first left hook he threw dropped Montana, and he may not recover. It came like a bolt out of the blue. It's up to seven and eight and nine and ten. It's all over. Landing to the body with his heavy shot. There's also a little cut above the right eyebrow of Bell. It's starting to open up now and bleed more profusely. Now, this is a in that eye. There's Tua going after it with a looping right hand over the top. And he lands another right cross to the jaw. And Bell's knees buckle. He almost goes down. Tua raining punches on Bell. And the referee stops the fight. Savone's Fox best out. Oh, I'm sure he's going to come on strong right here and try and put it into it. And here's that devastating left hand, followed by a right and then an uppercut. And that was all she wrote. He used as something of a trial horse. He'll be looking for something spectacular here to a Very dangerous with left hooks and getting in with one straight away to the body and then one to the head too. He's hurt here. Curry's in trouble. Locked into those ropes. Steve Smoker's trying to get in. Is he going to stop it there? He wasn't going to make it for a moment, Curry. Loves those left hooks. There's another one. That must be the end. It is. No, and I'll tell you what, they are really big. I've seen steel curtains are small. Three steps, and here comes David Tua. Wing it away, left, right. Offense in trouble, and down he goes. Left uppercut on the inside, Four, Steve. Almost lifted five, him off his feet. Six. And seven. he's not getting up. What, what's the ones where he just drops his, his, his gloves? Now, right there, he's through. He's through. The next one wasn't necessary. You know, I've talked about it many times. Speed times mass. This guy's legs are a little wider. Takes a left on the hook. And another one. His, his eyes roll back in his head on that one. The sky up is out. He goes down and the referee stops the contest. To a Bob and weave. Just misses. Throws a left and hurts him. Still, he's okay. That one did the damage. Right there, look at his arms. He can't control his head. Now he's out on his feet. And that punch and that one, that was over. Wilson tries a right hand across the top. Tua lands a short left. Bell. Can he beat the bell? No! He can't. He's counted out. Let's take another look at the knockout punch. And as it happened, Larry, George put his hand on my arm as if to say, that's the end of that. On the other hand, this could become a chess match if Moore is able to box no, for 36 no. minutes, or for 30 minutes, I should say. Scheduled for 10, not for 12. Get off his head. And David Tua gets in two body punches early. To the rip cage of Moore, and Moore. down goes Moore. I was say Moore's leading in. He's not moving at all. It's over with. There's a 30-second knockout right there. And that's what makes David Tua David Tua. He'll be getting up, and Tony Perez says enough. First left hook. And it's interesting what you said, George, about a fighter like this doesn't look as tall as he really is because of the way his body is built.